We've got Goliath out, so that can only mean one thing. We are going to be tackling the needle scaling task today. So hopefully we can make this look a lot better. So I'm probably going to do up to and including that cross member there, which is sort of about halfway. Um, because it's the back end that's worse than the front. And um, probably because it was used for dropping boats into the ocean, I reckon. So we're going to needle scale all this loose crap off. Then we'll go over with the wire brush on the angle grinder. And we'll get some paint on. I've finished doing all the prep work to get to this stage. So I've got that brace in that we need to sort of support the spare wheel. That's all welded in and the exhaust is removed right up to that front pipe. Everything's out of the way, took the brake line off that was in the way that we we're replacing. So I think we're ready. I'll start, um, probably start on the underside and then take the floor out that I made and uh, do the top part, or I might do the top part first, but we shall see. I'll um, probably do it on a time lapse just to sort of speed up because it's probably going to be several hours of groveling around doing this but um, it's got to be done so I shall bring you back once we've uh, made some progress a very long time <laughs> God. Um, I just stopped for a minute because I decided to take these uh, side steps off and they, they held on with these sort of triangulated brackets that go up two bolts just to allow a bit more access for the needle gun to get in there and do a proper job however the bolts don't look pretty so I managed to get one done and I've just about got this moving I don't think it will shear it feels a bit gummy but I think these back two are the worst I think it gets better as you go towards the front of the car so I'll uh, carry on getting both these side seals off and uh and carry on needle scaling. Okay, I've got both the uh, side steps off, and I was thinking <laughs> I might regret this. The the pinch seam, where sort of the inner skin of the floor joins the outer skin of the body, is a little bit, you know, ballooned and crispy. Obviously, I can needle scale that, and then I could stripe coat it, but. I realised this bit's plastic. So I thought, well, that's body coloured. Rather than having to tape it up with masking tape here and just doing that edge, why don't I take this plastic seal trim off? I can paint the whole lot and protect it. So <laughs> I've undone the clips. I'm gonna prise it off and see what horrors I find. Like I say, I'm probably gonna regret this because it could be ridiculously crusty under there. It could be a terrible water trap or something. I've got this corrosion here, which is, that's been like that since, since I bought the car about you know four years ago. And I was gonna patch it, but I've never got around to it. So I think I might address that with whatever horrors we find under here. So 
I can already see sediment falling out. I dare say there's some other clips holding it on as well. There you go, yeah. Oh yes. Might have to put you down, need two hands. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, I've got it off. There was a sneaky bolt at the back. Okay, so a little bit of corrosion. That's fine. That hole at the front, that bit there, appears to be a big hole. Where it's just turned to dust. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> I'm glad I took it off because I would have kept putting that bit off. And although it's not structural because gigantic massive chassis, it needs doing really doesn't it so the rest of it that's fine and then we've got a little issue at the back again it had a crusty bit which i knew about from the top had a little bit like that and then guess what Crusty <laughs> hole. So we'll patch that up as well. Might as well do things properly, eh? <laughs> the good thing is I don't have to make this look super pretty because it's covered up. Only the top bit. So I'm going to carry on needle scaling, but I'm going to needle scale all this as well now. And uh, we're getting there. I mean, I've still got to do all of this. There's still quite a bit to needle scale, but it takes a. Your arms take a beating doing it because it's. That gun's quite heavy to hold after sort of, you know, half an hour or an hour of doing it, so. But where I have done, that's looking much better. And we've still got quite a bit to do. So I'll crack on with that and bring you back on some amazing progress.
your friends of a broken home Mama's crying on the telephone Crying now cause the money's gone It always seems like there's something wrong This I swear It's more than I can bear All you agree To grab our things from everyone You cross the line I've been beaten Broken down this time I've been crawling so long With no place to go I've just been sitting here I feel like I've died again Bloody knuckles, broken picture frames Shattered childhood memories Yes, I swear, it's more than I can bear All your greed took care of my from everyone I think we have finished needle scaling. Probably spent about three or four hours on this. And it's horrible work because it's hot and you have to have lots of clothes on to protect yourself. And just rust and crap falls all over you. Goes in your t-shirt, down your trousers. And it's horrible. I'm absolutely filthy dirty. But I think we're done. So we've done all the way up to this cross beam here um, because like I say from here backwards is the, the worst, the front's not too bad. We will do the front but I'm going to be doing um, bottom arms, top arms, drive shafts and all of that at the same time so it'll just be a whole front end session. But for now. We've done. Had a little uh, needle scale up in this arch because there was some crusty stuff up there and just blew a hole through on the inner wheel arch. That's no problem. Stick a patch in that. And on the driver's side sill, there was a few bits where we blew through as well. Nothing major. There. So the next stage is to go over it with the angle grinder with one of these on. They're really aggressive. Uh, I've got another type there, and that will just basically get off anything. Uh, any sort of loose surface stuff. I've done this section here so you can kind of see what it comes out like. And it just gets it nice and clean, ready for paint. So this bit here, that's just been needle scaled. And this bit here has been needle scaled and wire brushed. So it just gets, gets everything ready for paint. So we're winning. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably do um, wire wheeling next and then um, I'll weld up some patches I think and then we stick some paint on. I think it gets easier from here on in. <laughs> I'll bring you back when I've got some progress.
Just uh, finished uh, wire, wire brushing it with the angle grinder and I've just blown out any loose dust off with the airline. And now I'm going to spray it with uh, this is brake and clutch cleaner. It's um, pretty good to use as a degreaser and just general cleaner. Should really put my gloves on. Not because I'm worried about getting brake clean on my hands, but I'll probably end up cutting myself again. <laughs> that always seems to happen. Okay, we've uh, needle scaled, wire wheeled, degreased, and uh, now we're ready for paint. Um, I'm probably not going to film painting because um, I don't want to get it all on the camera because the underbody guns tend to make a mess and go everywhere. So, this is what we're putting on, which is the Buzzworld Rust Encapsulator. I just thin it a little bit with their 1K thinners and this is a PCL underbody gun with an adjustable nozzle. Um, I quite like the nozzle like that because you can you know really dial it in. Uh, I want to get a coat on today, it's been it's getting late in the day. Um, but there's still plenty of heat left so that it can cure. Um, and then uh, I just want to get a coat on so that I don't have to wire brush it again because it will rust up otherwise. So I'll adjust this uh, quite a fine spray, get a light coat on, and then we'll carry it on tomorrow. But I'll bring it back once I've got the first coat on. Okay, that's the first coat on. It's quite, quite a light coat. That'll stop it rusting between now and tomorrow morning. And then we'll go and give it a heavier second coat. I haven't done the, the welding yet, but it's not a problem because I can just, you know, sand away where I've painted. But the, the, the main thing was to protect, you know, the, the bare metal overnight, because otherwise I'll have to wire wheel it all again tomorrow. So, I shall see you guys in the morning.